Hey guys, Jacob here at Pusher. Today I'm going to show you how to install our 3 inch hot and cold side charge tubes for the 2011 to present 6 7 liter Power Stroke equipped Ford trucks. Like all of our products, each one of these guys comes with its own dedicated step by step set of instructions that's going to be your go to reference for this install. This video is intended to be more of an additional guide that's going to give you a couple different angles of view and hopefully just that little bit of extra information to make you more comfortable when you go to do the job yourself. So let's dive into this thing and get started. First, let's familiarize ourselves with the components that we'll be installing today. First, we have our cold side charge tube here, it has our air intake temperature sensor port here, it has the auxiliary eighth inch MPT ports on the back that are good for a boost gauge pickup or water meth injectors, nitrous injectors. If you don't have anything to go in those ports, our products always come with matching anodized aluminum plugs to seal those off. Next is our air intake temperature sensor, little polished stainless hole down, and its bolt. Over here we have our heavy duty couplers and the stainless clamps to match those. And then here we have two different options. One is our throttle valve adapter. This basically slides over your throttle valve, and uses the O-ring to seal against it, very much like your factory charge tube did, but allows you to adapt to a silicone connection there. Here is our throttle valve replacement. This is basically going to completely replace your throttle valve. It comes with a O-ring as well, and then your hardware and washers to secure it to the intake manifold. Next we have our hot side. It has a machine adapter here on this end to slip over the turbo outlet, a lot like the factory piece does. And then we have a beaded connection here to seal to the intercooler inlet. To seal to the turbo outlet, we have an O-ring that'll go in this adapter later. And then we have our heavy duty coupler and stainless clamps that'll connect the tube to the intercooler inlet. Now we're gonna prep our throttle valve adapter by simply inserting the supplied O-ring into the groove. You can see that's machined on the ID of the adapter. Next up is pre-installing the reducer coupler. Push it on all the way on the beaded side of the adapter, leaving the slot still exposed. Then you're just gonna add your stainless T-bolt clamp and tighten it all the way. The orientation doesn't matter as the adapter can spin on the throttle valve to any orientation you like. To prep the throttle valve replacement, we just need to insert the supplied O-ring. This O-ring is not a round cross-section O-ring, so make sure it does not get twisted as you insert it in the groove. So we have our cold and hot side charge tubes here. I prefer to remove the hot side first. It gives you a little bit of room to reach underneath and work with the new cold side once you have it in place. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just loosen this T-bolt clamp right here. And then there's a C-clip back at the turbo connection that I'm gonna open up with a pair of screwdrivers so I can just pull that right off. I like these impacts, these quarter inch impacts. They make really quick work of the T-bolt clamps. They're well worth having when you're doing this type of work. So with that connection loose, I'm just going to push it off. And now I can work on the C-clip connection down at the turbo outlet. I like to use two screwdrivers where you can spread that C-clip and those hold it open for you. And there it is, off the charger. Super simple deal, really easy to take off. Now to get this guy off, I'll pop off this little coolant hose here just so I have more flexibility. You can see here the C-clip that holds on the connection to the throttle body. Just pull that guy up, pull one side up, and you can grab the other side. Just make sure it disengages all the way around. And then you can actually slide it further back onto the tube and that'll just hold it there while you work on the T-bolt clamp that's down here on the intercooler inlet. Again, as always, these quarter trim packs are great for this. We just reach down in there and make quick work of the T-bolt clamp down there. Get that guy nice and loose. Now we're just gonna pull this off the throttle body, like that, and then down off the intercooler. Be careful not to pull it up too hard once you get it off, because there is a intake temperature sensor here that we're gonna need to take a body clip puller off and pull the harness off and unplug.
we need to transfer over the intake air temp sensor here to the new tube. You can see there's a little ramp on the tube that that tab needs to twist over. So you just twist this thing over about 90 degrees and pull it out. This guy is going to go right here in this hole. I prefer to have the tab point up in this direction. Then we have our hold down bracket that's going to slide right underneath where the plug goes and over that tab that will lock it in place. Then we have our M5 bolt that threads in to hold the entire assembly down. Since we're here on the bench, we'll go ahead and flip around and work on our 8th inch MPT ports. If you don't have sensors or injectors to go in these ports, the tube comes with supplied plugs to seal them off. You definitely want to use sealant. I prefer Teflon paste that helps them actually lubricate them so that you get a good torque as well as seal the threads as well. We're going to go ahead and place our throttle valve adapter. It reuses the snap ring like the factory piece did. So you're just going to snap that guy in place in these machined in slots. And when you go to push that on, that thing will just expand and go right over. Also, I already put a little bit of silicone lube on this O-ring. It just helps it slide on better. I use silicone-based spray on pretty much all the silicone connections and O-ring connections. It just helps everything go to, uh, together and adjust so much better. I'd highly recommend using that, but do not use petroleum-based spray. That's it. We're on. Now let's set our throttle valve replacement in place. Keep in mind the bolt pattern for this is not equidistant apart. There is one bolt hole that's a little closer, this one down here. So when you go to put this on, if it doesn't line up at first, just rotate it around so all the holes line up. You want to make sure that your washers are behind all your bolt heads. That keeps the bolt heads from damaging the powder coat when you go to tighten them. I'm ready to move on to placing all my couplers and charge tube. You can see I have my charge tube sitting here. I like to use silicone based spray to help just get all my connections on together. It just helps them um, slide together and then gives you the ability to really position them easily and doesn't affect the seal down the road at all. So I'm going to spray the inside of these a little bit. This is the one that's going to go on the throttle valve replacement. I'm actually going to slide this guy all the way on and then once my charge tube is in place, I'll slide it back off halfway onto the charge tube. This is my intercooler coupler. You can see one leg is a little shorter than the other. This leg is going to go on the outlet of the intercooler. Again, I'm going to spray a little bit with some silicone spray. Once I get this thing positioned, Silicone is going to make my life a lot easier. These couplers are very heavy duty and they're pretty stiff. They stick good, so that silicone spray helps them align. So I'm going to hold this charge tube kind of in the position that I think it's going to end up in the truck. My intercooler outlet points pretty much 90 degrees to the line of travel, so I'm angled a little bit forward. I'm going to angle that back. So hopefully, when I set the thing down in place, it goes right onto the intercooler. So that looks good there. I'm going to go ahead and slide this guy off. So that looks really good right there. I'm going to go ahead and put all my clamps on, just make a final adjustment on all my connections again, and tighten the clamps. Also, don't forget to 
plug in your air intake temp uh, sensor here. So now that all my connections are set tight, everything's lined up perfect, all I really need to do is put my hot side back on. If you're putting your factory one back on, then you just go in the reverse order that we removed it. We're going to put our hot side charge tube on this customer's vehicle for him, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So you can see our connection here uses the C-clip to secure the charger. We just need to remove this C-clip because we're going to reuse it on our charge tube so that it clips right onto the factory charger just like the factory piece does. So you can see there's a little plastic retainer here that helps hold the ring on for installation purposes when you do it at the factory. That also retains it and keeps it from uh, coming off, so I want to pull that guy off that side. We'll start taking our ring off. And we want to pop off this side. So we can get our ring out. We'll clean that guy up and install it on our tube. To prep the hot side charge tube, you just need to simply insert the supplied round cross-section o-ring into the machine groove you can see here on the inlet of the charge tube. Okay. Now we can set our hot side in. This guy's going to set in pretty much just like the factory one did. So we're going to go ahead and set our C-clip on so that it's easily reachable next time we need to work on it. You just go ahead and set it in the grooves that are there, and then when you push this on the charger, it's just going to snap in automatically for you. On the other side, we need to put our coupler on. I prefer to slide it all the way on, so we're going to spray a little silicone spray in the coupler again. And we're just going to slide that all the way on the charge tube. There we are, you can see that our C-clip is seated in the groove, so now I just need to slide my coupler off onto the intercooler. So now you can see that my coupler is seated where it needs to be, the humps on the intercooler and the charge tube are nice and inside the hump of the coupler, so I just need to set my clamps in place and tighten them down. That's it, we're done. As you can see, that was a pretty simple install. Nothing too scientific there. I'm really happy to give this back to the customer as a more powerful, more reliable truck. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, there's a lot of information on our site. If you can't find what you're looking for there, give us a call, shoot us an email. We're here to help, and thanks for watching.